You've been hard at work mixing and tweaking every aspect of your GarageBand for Mac project, and I've got things sounding just right. Wouldn't it be great if you could save the EQ, compression, or reverb settings that you've created for use in tracks on other projects? I'm Patrick from thegaragebandguide.com, and in this quick tip, I'll show you how. In this project, I've tweaked GarageBand's stock visual EQ on this synth track to perfection, or at least to a point where I'm happy with it. To save these parameters to a preset that I can come back to and use in other projects, I need to click here where it says Settings, and then select Save As. I'm prompted to enter a name for my preset, and when I hit save, that preset is now available right above the selection of factory presets. And here I am loading that same preset onto another track. This works on pretty much every stock plugin that GarageBand has. The compression I've dialed in on this synth bass track sounds good to me. If I want to save the preset, I just need to repeat the process as before. You can even do this on GarageBand's more advanced plugins. Here I am creating a preset in one of my favourite stock GarageBand effects, the AU Matrix Reverb. That'll about do it for this quick tip. If you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful, make sure you hit the like button below and subscribe. Not only does it help the channel out, but it lets me know that you want to see more videos just like this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.